evening guys this is abby the law student in this video i want to start off by asking kamusta na kayo how are you coping with the changes that has happened in the past few months ako well i don't know maybe the biggest thing that i did that helped me a lot is to sleep sleep it off hanggang wala pang nilalabas dati yung school namin regarding what will happen for the semester i just slept and enjoyed my idle time anyway if you are having a hard time i will share um five things five things that helped me throughout this pandemic which we may not know pero um these could help you too so for the number five five is to Find something that makes you happy. Either um, find a hobby, discover a hobby, or I don't know, scrolling through social media. Pero minsan, di ba, it, uh, social media can really be stressful nowadays. Pero, for example, sa akin, what I did was I started planting. Yes, the same as the um, other people during this pandemic, I started planting. Actually, I started that way back in 2018, 2019. I planted a lot of chili peppers. Kasi yun yung mga buto na meron ako. So, I had about 15 plants, I think. Pero, um, without them even getting big, uh, I lost interest. So, I just let them die. Started to lose interest because it was the rainy season. And then, since nasa seedling cups siya, hindi ko alam how to take care of it. So, I stopped caring about them and they all died. So, fast forward to 2020. Well, I bought some seeds. Uh, I had tomato. Tapos, nakahingi din ako ng okra, mustasa, pechay, and I bought marigolds, uh, I can't remember what else, ah, sitaw, and patola. So, I started planting with very, very little knowledge in planting talaga. Basta, nagtiwala lang ako sa kung, alam mo yun, nagtiwala lang ako na lalaki sila. And then they did. And it gave me something to look forward to every day. Because every day, of course, you check your plants. If there are pests, you water them if they need watering. And you just basically watch them grow. So that is the biggest or one thing um, that really helped me a lot. Anyway, um, second, of course, the social media. So that really... Uh, gave me something. YouTube particularly. Um, not filming YouTube, ah, pero um, watching videos on YouTube. Especially uh, when it comes to cooking. So recipes, anything, anything that, that, that can take my mind off whatever's happening in the world. So that's it. That's the fifth thing. So let's move up. So the fourth thing is um, I made a setup which is conducive to what I need. So, it could be whatever. Uh, time, you can fix your um, sleeping habits or you can fix routines. And for me, uh, what I did was I fixed my room. Yes, I know. Um, based on my last video, it doesn't look as fixed or as, you know, um, organized as I want it to be. But... Uh, Nagawa ko siya in a way na I now have a, a, a workstation which doesn't uh, mix with anything else. I mean, it's just solely for workstation, for school. And then I put my other things in their places. So para basically, nagkaroon ng division yung room ko that now I can separate my sleeping area from the entertainment area which is still in the bed, no? And, um... My workstation, which is solely for the purpose of uh, studying. So, yes, that might help you. Aside from magkakaroon ka ng uh, gagawin, since you have to uh, pull everything out of where they are and put it back kung saan mo gusto ilagay, 
uh, I don't know. It gives me peace of mind, you know, to see what I have, to see the things that I've acquired throughout the years and let go of some things and organize, basically. It helps you. It's, it's therapeutic. Anyway, so that's the fourth one. And now we have the third. Third is to connect. Connecting with family and friends. There are a lot of people who spent most of their pandemic days alone in their houses or in their dormitories, apartments, and even in your own home, you can be alone, you know? Kasi lahat naman tayo, we have our own little world when it comes to being at home. I mean, hindi naman lagi lahat kasama mo yung pamilya mo, hindi naman lagi kasama mo yung mga kaibigan mo sa bahay, or even if you are many in one house, of course, you have your own time and you have your own space, right? So, sa haba ng panahon na yun, you have to connect. Either kwentuhan lang or simpleng message, kamusta, or whatever. But you have to feel um, connected to them still, given na uh, ilang buwan na tayo in isolation and nawala na yung benefit ng physical touch or ng personal na meeting. So, at I think that it is very important. This is also connected with my number two, which is to vent out with someone you can trust. Now, oh my God, pawis na ako kasi it's so hot. And then if I open my fan, it would be very uh, noisy, no? So, um, for number two, vent out to someone that you trust or that you can really talk to. Um, it doesn't have to be... Uh, everything na nilalaman ng puso mo. Pero when you reach that point, when you reach the, uh, in Tagalog, no, pag puno na yung salop, your, your, your threshold, when you reach that point, please know that you can always vent. You can always talk to somebody you trust and you can always talk to somebody you confide, confide in, confide to. Uh, kasi it, it's not healthy to keep it all in. Especially now nga na we don't have that luxury or privilege na, I, I think, na to be able to personally be with friends and personally be with everybody in our family. So, I think that it's it's very important. It will keep your sanity intact, you know? And actually, for me, it doesn't need to be a friend. You can pray. Uh, venting out, praying is venting out for me. So you can pray to God or whichever deity you believe in. You can write it in a notebook. Anything, any outlet that you can think of. Just express yourself. And, um, you know, let it all out. Even in the, in the comfort of your own room or, you know, while having coffee in the morning. Just let it out. Para lang hindi maipon and it cannot uh, add up to the stress that you're feeling now. And for my first is to recognize, please, please do recognize that you can stop, you can breathe, you can reorganize. Now kasi, kaya ko ginawang top one to. We now live in a fast-paced uh, era. And it was worsened by being digital. So, nawala na yung boundaries ng work or ng school and ng home. So, I have friends who work almost 24 hours because ngayon parang iniisip ng, ng bosses nila that, you know, you're at home. You, you're not doing anything. So, you can do this for me. Parang ganun. So, please, please recognize that you can stop. You can say no. I mean, siguro na lang, pwera na lang kung urgent talaga, no? Pero you can say no. Kasi kung stop na ng oras ng work mo, that's it. And for, for students naman, you don't have to uh, stick with a very rigorous schedule. Kasi yes, you're at home, pero syempre you need to rest. Please recognize that. Kasi merong mga... Uh, ngayon ay nabo-burnout na. And it is very easy to be burnout. Kasi, 
yun nga, nagtuloy-tuloy na yung work and school and home time. So, parang, mm, uh, wala na tayong time para sa sarili natin or para sa sarili nila, you know. So, that's it. Uh, this is very short. I mean, these are just five things that you can do, but I think that it's worth trying, you know. Uh, these things are worth trying because it helped me a lot. I mean, I'm not that busy the past few months. Ngayon lang nagsisimula because I just started my SEM. Pero this has helped me a lot through those um, nine months na, no? Or eight? So, yeah. And I hope may napulot kayo sa mga sinabi ko. And, yeah. That's it. Kaya natin to, guys. Laban lang. And you know na kaya mo rin yan. So dito ko muna i-end yung video guys. Thank you for watching. And please like and subscribe. And suggest kung ano yung pwede nyong uh, or gusto nyong makita sa mga videos ko. Sa mga susunod kong videos. Thank you. And see you next time. Bye!